Happy New Year, you beautiful nerds. So as per my New Year's resolution to drink more, I started drinking. And then I had a thought. What was the best movie that I saw last year? It was a question that haunted me for some reason. When will you have your answer, no one asked. So I kept thinking and kept drinking. And then I drank a lot more. Then I thought a lot more, but not as much as I drank. I got real deep into my thoughts. I started writing on things that aren't paper. It, it got emotional, it got weird. Then I said to myself drunkenly while crying in the mirror, I think I've got it. So put the kids to bed and crack open that bottle of Pinot. Cause I'd like to talk to you guys about the best movie of the year. But first, a prelude. So the year of our Lord 2019 has come to an end and wow, it was a, uh, so much good stuff happened last year. I can't think of a single bad thing that happened. Okay, last year wasn't great. Bad joke. It actually sucks shit. But hey, we were at least spoiled with a lot of great movies in 2019. The Farewell, The Irishman, The Lighthouse, The Downton Abbey. That's not how it's, that's not what it's called. We got the debut of some really great filmmakers and the return of some legends. We got the comeback of Eddie Murphy, The LaBuffessance. We got three Marvel movies that each made a billion dollars. And we were blessed with J-Lo doing the best acting of her career while in the best shape of her career. By the way, thank you for that, J-Lo. We appreciate it. And somebody asked for this for some reason. I didn't, but somebody probably did, and that's fine. Don't mess with the crazy cat lady. <laughs> Award season is getting fully ramped up, which means everyone's opinions are about to get really obnoxious. So before things get all Oscar-y, I wanted to talk about a movie that gave me all the feels. It was well acted, funny, meaningful, and kind of scary. I want to talk about the best movie of 2019. I want to talk about... Now I know some of you guys have already stopped watching this video and clicked dislike in a fit of rage. But don't overreact. I know this wasn't technically the best movie of 2019, okay? Relax, I know this. It's not winning any awards or nothing. But it was by far the most fun I had in theaters last year. The premise of this movie is pretty simple. A bride's wedding night takes a sinister turn when her eccentric new in-laws force her to take part in a deadly game of hide and seek. Basic shit, right? Almost sounds like a movie you've seen before, but you forgot because that movie sucked. Which is why I had pretty low expectations of this movie the first time I watched it. I was just kind of thirsty for a horror flick because it was Halloween time and it looked kind of funny. But holy shit, this movie kicked ass. I'm kind of a harsh critic when it comes to horror too. Most horror flicks are kind of dumb, especially in recent years. I'm looking at you, fucking. But this is a damn near perfect horror movie and the best I've seen in a long time. But. I get it, you need some convincing. Well, if you'll indulge me, I'm gonna give you three reasons why this movie was better than anything you saw last year. The screenplay for this movie is pretty tight. Upon multiple viewings, yes, I saw this three times in the theater, I realized that every scene was either moving the story along, building character, or both. There's really not a wasted moment and all of the exposition flows at a nice pace. Even though every scene is either exciting or fun to watch, you can't really take out a scene without removing information you'll need down the road. The only thing that would have made me like this movie even more if there were any black or brown people in it. But it also totally makes sense why it's an all white cast. Cause these assholes would not have black people at their wedding. It also accentuates the theme of this movie. And that theme is... Fucking rich people. Ready or Not does a really great job of hammering home the idea that wealthy people just don't think the same as everyone else. Beyond the obvious fact that having more money puts you in a different mindset and may blind you to the struggles of those less fortunate, rich people are just fucking weird. And I don't mean putting sweaters on your Pomeranian weird. Just Google Bohemian Grove or the Skull and Bone Society and you'll know exactly what I mean. When someone new joins the family, you have to play a game. Hide and seek? Are we really gonna play that? If you don't, you die. What? This movie was shot beautifully. The mansion that the film is set in looks gorgeous, and the way that it's lit really gives it an aesthetic that made every set piece look like an antique. Kind of reminded me the way the architecture of Ivy League colleges are shot in The Social Network or Dear White People. And these directors really know how to do comedy. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank It's not loaded with jokes, which I think helps it a lot. The timing and balance of all the jokes are pretty great, and they get some wonderful performances out of their actors. Don't take it personally, they're just trying to figure out if you're a gold-digging whore. 
you know, like my wife. We must. <laughs> I got you, bitch. Fuck! Which brings me to my final point. Hello, I'm Smara Weaven, and I'm in this movie. If you've ever seen Netflix's The Babysitter, you know that this gal can make not-so-great dialogue sound really good. And in this movie, she has a lot of shit to work with, so she makes good dialogue sound amazing. Again, I know this movie's not winning any awards, so I know that she's not getting nominated for anything. I don't know, put her in a Marvel movie or something. Chick is really good. Are you ready for this? Oh, fuck man. So that was my favorite movie of 2019. I don't know why it struck a chord with me so hard, but it definitely checked all my boxes and somehow ended up being my favorite film of this year. Ready or Not was an awesome film. It was skillfully executed and made every single shot that it attempted. It also was the perfect length, it didn't drag at all. It told the story that it wanted to and it got the fuck out of town, which is exactly what I'm about to do. So that's it, that's the best movie of 2019, in my opinion. 2020 is looking pretty promising. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. Well, fuck you, I don't actually have to go watch that. You can't make me. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get updates on new videos. The liking doesn't help you get updates. It just, it, it helps me out. I need emotional validation. Take care, you guys, and may the force be with you.